Hello everyone and welcome to today's video and in this video we're just gonna do a quick and simple the usual gaming test but this time we're using the POCO F3 now this phone features the Snapdragon 870 chipset and comes with 8 gigs of RAM and also 256 gigs of storage and we'll just jump into Genshin Impact right away and this time around we are also playing the game at the highest possible graphical settings at 60 FPS and as you can see here we are indeed using Perf Dog but the text is always in red color and it is also always at the top left position. I don't know how to reposition it or change it to another color. So if you have any idea, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to learn from you guys. So with that said, let's proceed. And as you can see here, the phone did get quite hot. And we also have another video comparing the gaming performance of the POCO F3 with the POCO X3 Pro. So you can check it out at the top right corner there as well. So now we'll proceed into PUBG Mobile. And as you can see here, the game is still not optimized for this phone. And we can only run the game at either Ultra HD graphics if you want to do that or at 60 fps max for all the other graphical settings and of course i want 60 fps so let's proceed with that And then for COD Mobile, of course, this game has zero issues running this game. So yeah, here's a quick gameplay of it. Hard point identified. We tied for the lead. Hostiles have the hard point. We lost the lead. Hard point contested. Hard point lost. 
hardpoint contested. And that's it, that's the POCO F3's gaming performance and I would say it is indeed a bit better than the POCO X3 Pro. Is it by a lot? Well, that depends on how do you want to gauge things because phones are a lot more complicated compared to PCs and desktops. So we'll have our review of the POCO F3 coming soon but if you want to see the gaming performance comparison, do watch it at the end card right there. And we'll see you there. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.